Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a new table using an existing table in SQL. So in this example, I'm just connected to our AdventureWorks database. Again, this is a sample database provided by Microsoft and it's free for you to use. I will also provide a link on how to download it in the description below. So check that out as well. So in this example, I'm just going to query this table here, which is sales or currency. So I'm just going to do a select all from sales dot currency to see what's inside so so just a simple select from this table just to see what's inside and there are 105 records so let's say if i want to create a new table with the same data and the same column names and everything same data types um, there so there are two main ways of doing that so the first way is you right click on this table in the object explorer and then you do skip table as create to and new query so what this is going to do is create a skip for you so you can execute this and it'll create a new table with the same data types and everything and what you have to do here is you have to change the name here so let's just call it underscore code samples one so this is our name otherwise It'll try to create the new table with the same name and it's going to add her out. And let's just take all these properties out. We don't need them in this example. So I have the creator skipped and I'm just going to execute this now. Error. There's already an object name PK in the database. Okay. We need to change our primary key name as well because the currency table already has that. So let's just call it underscore one and execute this now okay so we just executed this so it should have this primary key in all of these uh, columns here so let's go back there and refresh our tables to see if the new table is there now and it should be next to currency okay so we have this table now so what you can do is we can go back here and then we can just query our new table that we just created code samples one and it should be empty right now because we did not insert anything so it, it it's just a copy of this table but there's no data inside so let's open this up and if you go to columns all the columns have the same data type as the original table so if you go here, it should have the same data types and everything. And we create the primary key as well. So it should be there as well, just a different name because we have this, um, the same primary key there as well, just uh, underscore one here. So it just copied the entire table with the same data types and everything, but the data is not there. So it just copies like the structure and everything. So if you wanna insert all the data into this table, you can just do an insert statement. So you will just do insert into sales.currency code samples one. And we can just do a select all from our source table, which is sales.currency. So let's comment this out. So I'm just going to comment this out and I'm going to execute this. So it's going to insert all those rows in this table. So now if you select, let's just select what's in the new table now. So now it has the data as well. So that's one way of doing it. So you just copied all of the table structure and all of the data from currency into this new table. Now there is another way of doing that in SQL Server and that's a lot easier. So we can do that using this command. It's select all into and we are gonna define our table here. Our new table is sales dot. I'm just gonna copy this table name and I'm just gonna call it two here. So this will be our new table from sales.currency so here we have to declare our source table so it's going to copy everything from this table this is our source 
into this table which is our target so this becomes our target table and this is our source table let me execute this now so you see 105 rows affected I'm, I'm gonna go back here and just refresh our tables now let's go down there and we should have our new table and if you select from the new table which is two let's just execute this selection and see what's inside it has all the 105 rows so it just copied the entire table let's open it up as well go to columns all the columns are here they all match our source table and the keys won't be there this method does not copy all the keys or the constraints but it copies all the data and the data types and everything and let's say if you want to create a new table using this source table but you only want to copy the table structure just the data types and the table structure like all the column names but you do not want to copy uh, all the data inside it there is a way of doing that so use the same command let's just define our new table because two is already taken we've already defined quote samples too so i'm just gonna call it three here and here in the from clause i'm just gonna write a false statement so i can just do where one equals two so this is a false statement so if we select all from sales.currency this is our source table we have 105 records but if we put like a true statement here let's say we are one equals one it's also going to return all the 105 records because this is it's true for all of them one equals one but if you do a false statement we are one equals two none of the rows will be returned because this is a false statement so it's gonna return zero rows so this is what i'm trying to do here i'm gonna provide a false statement here in the where clause so it returns zero rows but it still copies the table so let's execute this now zero rows affected but let's go back here and refresh our all our tables here and i'm gonna go back down here again and you see we have code samples three here so this is the new table we just created it has all the columns the same data types and everything as the source table so if you open it up all of these will have the same columns uh, this was you all of these will have the same columns so if you select from this new table now it'll have zero records because it did not copy anything over because we provide this false statement here but all the columns are there so it is still copied uh, the whole table structure all the data types and everything but it did not copy the data so that's another way of doing that so our first way was just copying it using the script command from the object explorer and we dumped it into this code samples one table and then we inserted rows into it because we cannot uh, copy all the data directly and then our second method using the select into we did not just copy like all the data types and the table structure we also copied the data in our last and our third method we use the same command but what we did is we provided a false statement so it copied all the table structure but it did not copy the records let me know if you guys have any questions and thank you for watching